What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to review the newest addition to the XP Pen drawing tablet family, the Deco Pro MW. This is not a sponsored review, and even if the folks at XP Pen sent me this tablet for free for me to review it, all the opinions are mine and are not affected by it. But let's get started. Please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing if you enjoy this type of content. This is the Deco Pro tablet. It's a pen tablet, so monitor not included, that connects to your computer and works with Windows, macOS, Linux, Android, and iPhone. It's a very slim tablet with an ultra thin body at just seven millimeters and an internal battery with up to 10 hours of usage. It comes in four different sizes. This one is the MW version, which offers a drawing area of 11 inches by six inches. The SW and MW version also come with additional Bluetooth connectivity. More on that later in the video. The Deco Pro comes with eight shortcut buttons, a scroll wheel and a touch capacitive area that you can fully reprogram to fit your needs. The pencil is pretty standard as all the most recent XP Pen pencils coming with other products. It has the expected 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity as well as not that common 60 degree tilt feature. But enough with the specs, you can check them yourself on the website. So let's talk about how the tablet feels and works. I use it on Linux, Pop! OS version 2104, since that's my main operating system, and I was pleasantly surprised to see that it worked out of the box. XP Pen offers an easy and well-built application you can download from their official drivers page, which gives you access to a control panel in order to fully customize every single key of both the tablet and the pencil. You will need to keep the app running while using the tablet, but that's not a problem as you can minimize it to the system tray. I decided to do some character design in Krita, but the Deco Pro works out of the box with any design application out there. The connectivity is pretty awesome, as you can use it with a single USB Type-C cable, which comes also with adapters to fit your needs, a USB wireless receiver, or Bluetooth in case of this version. All these options work flawlessly and I never experienced any lag, stutter, or loss of connectivity, which is very important when you're drawing. Using this tablet was easy and familiar. No real learning curve or glaring issue came up after two weeks of usage, where I had to recharge it only once with an average usage of two hours per day. If we want to be really nitpicky, I can probably say only a couple of negative things about this tablet, if we want to call them negative. Personally, I wish the pen was a bit sturdier. It feels very light, and even if I didn't have any issue, I feel like I could crack it if I squeeze too much. I have a heavy stroke, so it's mostly my problem. The other thing is that even though I think the scroll wheel and touch area in the middle are great, I wish they would offer a touch capacitive tablet. It feels more natural to use your drawing end for actions like rotate, zoom and pan instead of using your other end in a small circular area. Even after weeks of using it, I never felt comfortable with it. And that's pretty much it. As I said, the negative feedback is very minor and mostly personal. So should you consider buying this tablet? Absolutely yes. This tablet comes at around 160 US dollars, which makes it almost a no-brainer. So the final question is, how is this different from a Wacom tablet? And should you buy an XP Pen tablet instead? I personally own two Wacom tablets and one Wacom Cintiq display tablet. And if three or four years ago you would have asked me this question, I would have told you probably to go with Wacom, absolutely. Today, I'm not that sure. 
The gap in quality and features and product availability between competitors like XP Pen is narrowing further and further. And as of today, I really cannot find any compelling reason to not recommend XP Pen. So if you're an artist on a budget, someone that wants to upgrade to a larger tablet, or someone that is just starting to get into digital painting and you don't want to burn your wallet, XP Pen Deco Pro is a great choice. Well, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching and I talk to you in the next one.